We want to take you to Vaughn now. That's where Mayor Stephen Del Duca speaking about the command post set up in the area ahead of the anniversary of the Hamas attack in Israel. We'll listen in. Uh, good morning, uh, everyone. I am uh, really happy to be here at the Promenade Mall here in the city of Vaughn in Thornhill. You can see that behind me, York Regional Police have set up the mobile, one of their mobile command posts. Obviously, we know uh, we are about to um, we're about to mark the one year anniversary of the horrible, horrible terrorist attacks that took place perpetrated by Hamas uh, in Israel, as I mentioned, just about a year ago. We're also in the midst of the high holidays here in the Jewish community. Uh, I wanted to come out this morning to see the mobile command post in person. I also wanted to thank uh, York Regional Police officers who are here, who are serving, who are on duty. And very publicly, I want to thank Chief Jim McSween and the entire York Region Police team for having a very strong plan that they did communicate out several days ago to the community, to the broader community. Uh, we have the one mobile command post here at the Promenade Mall. There is a second mobile command post that will be uh, moving around York Region for the next number of days. There are two other locations for the, the roving mobile command post in Vaughan. One is at the Jafari Community Center, and the other is at the Longos parking lot at Jane and Major McKenzie Drive. Uh, so to know that the mobile command posts plus additional patrols, additional officers who will be out in the community, both in their vehicles and on foot, uh, that increased visibility, I think, will go a long way to helping ease some of the anxiety and the angst that we know many in our community have been feeling for the past 12 months, and in particular with tensions that are heightening right now in the Middle East. So again, I want to publicly thank York Regional Police, and I want our residents here in Vaughan to know that we're aware of the challenge, we're aware of the concern, that we are standing with them, all of them, and that we have their back. And with that, I'd be happy to take any questions that any of you might have. To this and are there any specific threats? Yeah, so the good news is, if there is any good news in all of this, is that I'm in regular contact with York Regional Police. I saw Chief McSween yesterday and others from the Senior Command, and there are no threats that I've been made aware of. I will, I will keep in regular contact with the Chief and others throughout the next number of days, as I always do. And of course, if anything comes up, and we all hope sincerely that it doesn't, that it won't, uh, communication will be, will be broadcast out to the community. And the other good news is that given that the mobile command post is here and that there's a second one that will be moving around York Region, plus the increased visibility in patrols, I feel very, very confident that York Regional Police has the situation well in hand. Mayor, I'm wondering if you can elaborate on some of the feedback you've heard from community members, especially as we approach uh, this one-year mark. Obviously, very tense time for people. Tensions only seem to be rising. What has the community been saying to you? Yeah, so it's it, it's such a um, it's such a challenging time of year for two reasons. One is the one year anniversary coming up on Monday of the terrorist attacks, but we're also into the high holidays. So just yesterday, I had the chance to visit two congregations here in Thornhill, celebrating the New Year, celebrating Rosh Hashanah. You know, one of the typical things that people will say to one another at this time of year in the Jewish community is, you know, we hope that you have a blessed and sweet New Year. What I said in one of my comments yesterday is it's it's interesting. It's it's you, you want to have a, a, a sweet new year, but of course at this time of year, because of the one year anniversary, the feelings are somewhat bittersweet. So I think people are trying their best to be celebratory, like you want to be with the new year, but at the same time, their hearts are heavy. Uh, they know, of course, tensions are rising uh, in the Middle East, in Israel, in El you know the neighboring neighboring uh, countries. Uh, they also know that the hostages, far too many of them, are still not back with their loved ones. So it's a it's a tough time. I I do think I do think that they appreciate the outreach. They certainly appreciate the extraordinary work that York Regional Police does, and I think they they welcome the news, uh, knowing that their community does stand with them in their time of in their time of uh, challenge. Mayor, are you expecting any large demonstrations over the next couple of days? And are police uh, taking any kind of extra measures for demonstrations specifically? So we're not aware of any any particular demonstrations. Um, there is a there is a, a a weekly gathering that takes place has been taking place since October seventh of last year, here at the Promenade Mall. I I know that they're going to be meeting again this Sunday. They're going to be congregating. I suspect because of the one year anniversary, it'll be in slightly larger numbers. Uh, that is intended to be peaceful. It's been peaceful for the last year on a weekly basis. Every other time that they've gathered, uh, so I, I I believe that'll be peaceful. I will be at the the gathering this Sunday. I don't know of any others, but I know the York Regional Police 
not only are they are they doing their normal job with respect to intelligence gathering, they've also asked the community and city council, myself as mayor, to let them know if we are aware of anything else that's happening, and I've not heard anything so far. So for anybody who does choose to gather over the next number of days, I would just urge everyone, keep it peaceful, keep it respectful, focus on the larger issue at hand, uh, and make sure that everybody remains calm and, and I'll say comfortable here in, in the city of Vaughan. It is so, so important for us to look out for one another, and I sincerely hope that everyone will at this point in time. Okay, that's Vaughn's Mayor Stephen Del Duca speaking at one of the command Thank posts you. set up in York Region. This is ahead of the one-year anniversary of October the 7th. There's an increased police presence in York as well as Toronto, much of the greater Toronto area. Uh, what we heard from the mayor, he's saying he hopes the increased visibility will ease some of the anxiety residents are feeling at this time. Also saying he is in regular contact with the chief. At this time, he is not aware of any threats made to the region.